welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 21. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my channel and then click on my college website and you can download this workbook. Hey, in this trick number 21, we're going to talk about the binome dist function. This is a function that will calculate the probability for a binomial experiment. Hey, what is a binomial experiment? Hey, let's give an example. What if we're looking at homes, randomly sample nine homes, and we're going to ask the question, do you have a large screen TV? Hey, from past data, we know that 0.7 houses have large screen TVs. So what if we wanted to find the probability that all nine of them had a large screen TV? Binomial experiment. And there's a great function, binome disk, that'll tell us just that. Hey, let's drag down here a little bit. And I want to show you a picture of all the probabilities for a binomial experiment. Hey, look, there's nine houses we're going to sample. And we know that the po um, n is the number of trials or the number of houses or the number of samples. And pi is the probability that any one given house has that large screen, which is 0.7. Hey, this is a distribution of all the probabilities. What's the probability that zero of those nine houses will have a large screen? Well, basically nothing. One, nothing. How about five? What's the probability that five of the nine houses will have a large screen TV? A little bit more than 15%. Those are all the probabilities, zero to one. Hey, a success is has a large screen TV. Now, all of these add up to one. But in this first example, we want to click in cell uh, C13, and we're going to calculate using the binome disk. But hey, wait a second. Before we do that, I want to scroll up. See, we're going to use this number 9 and this number 0.7 in all of our functions. So here's a cool trick. Let's name these cells. I'm going to click in uh, the cell with 9, which is C5. I'm going to click up in the name box, type the letter N, and Enter. This cell is now the letter N instead of C5. Click here, and we're going to click up in the name box and type PI. Pi, that's not uh, circumference divided by diameter. It's pi, the probability associated with a binomial experiment. Hey, now I'm going to click in C13, and we're going to do our function. It'll tell us exactly what the probability that nine of those houses have uh, large screen TV. Ready? equals binome dist. Binome dist. And as always, our screen tip tells us what it's expecting us to type in. Hey, this screen tip is hanging off the edge. I'm going to point in when I see that four-way pointing arrow. I can click and drag the screen tip out of the way. Now watch this. It wants the number of successes. I'm going to click on 9. And then I'm going to type a comma. Oh. I clicked on the wrong place. Then I'm going to type a comma, whoop, and it goes to trials. Hey, the number of trials is n. That's 9. If you don't believe that that n is representing 9, scroll up, and you can see the green box. Click a comma, comma, and now it's asking for the probability. Hey, that's pi. Don't believe it? Scroll up. Oh, there's the purple one. And then comma. Now, this cumulative is very important if you want to find exactly a particular x value, type in a 0. In a second, we'll see what a 1 does. That adds up a bunch of 1's. But if you want just the number 9, you type in a 0 there. Control Enter. There it is. The probability is 0 0.04. That's a visual picture of all the probabilities. And this one represents 0 0.04. Hey, let's scroll over and see another example for the binome disk. We want to ask the question, probability of homes that have a large screen TV, what's the probability that we could get less than five? Hey, that means we're adding. We need to add the probability associated with zero homes, have them one, two, three, four, but not five. So we want to add up all of these probabilities. This is a visual example. The, all of the probabilities equal one. If we add up less than five, it would be the four, the three, the two, the one, and the zero. So we add them all up, and we get the probability that less than five houses have a large screen TV. Ready? Equals binome dist, binome dist. Now, here's the trick. We have a five there because we're less than five. But if it's adding all of these, we don't want the five. We, want to, we don't want to tell the function five, so we have to click on the five and subtract one. Five minus one is four. And that means this function will add up all of these. 
Then we type a comma. Trials is n, comma, probabilities pi, comma. And now here's this fourth argument. And when we type a 1, that tells this function to add. And it always adds from the 0 successes all the way up to whatever the x is. And our x is 5 minus 1, which is 4. So you're telling by putting a 1 right there to add up all these probabilities. Control Enter, there it is. The probability of sampling nine houses and having less than five with large screen TV is 0 0.09, almost 10%. I'm going to scroll over. We'll look at another example and scroll down. I'm going to click in cell C25. And now this one is, what's the probability that greater than five houses? Hey, this didn't show up right here, but this is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we want to add up all the probabilities here. Now this is 5. So if we do our function cumulatively, it's going to add up from 0 all the way to 5. So to get the upper ones, we have to subtract, take 1 and subtract this probability. Remember, because all of them add together is 1. So in this cell, we're going to say equals 1 minus, and then do our binom dist. Number of successes is 5, because we want it to add 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then subtract it from 1. Comma, our trials are n, comma, the probability is pi, comma, and the cumulative is 1. Now watch this. This part's going to add up broop, all that, and then you're, it's going to subtract it from 1, which will give us the upper end, 0.729, so the probability of getting greater than five houses with a large screen TV is that right there. Hey, let's look at one final example here. We want greater than or equal to seven. We can see a visual picture. Boop, boop, boop. We want to add the seven, the nine, and uh, the seven, the eight, and the nine. Guess what? This is on the upper end, so we have to do our trick with our equals one minus. And then by no number of successes. Hey, wait a second. If this function always goes from the zero, brrr, up to this, we need to take, we want it to add only up to the 6. So when we click on our 7, we have to subtract 1, comma. The number of trials is n, comma. pi is the probability, comma. And 1 is to tell it cumulative. Then it will go from 0 brrr, all the way up to the 6. Control Enter. There it is, 0.46. So if you're doing binomial experiments, there is your four types of examples and how to do them. All right, see you next Excel trick.